Hello and welcome at metaquip.nl Today I'm going to show you how to bring a design from 3D to the laser uh, machine. Um, what you see here on the screen is a design made for wood. Uh, it's a kind of cup holder. You can place a plastic beaker here. The bottom of the beaker will go there. And later on we will put an insert which will bend the uh, bottom to the top. Uh, to make the bending possible, we use these kind of flexible structures in the wood, carved, and we copy that on two positions. So this is the uh, well, cup holder, and to have the rigid insert, we designed a kind of rib with the three knot patches on it, which will go into the holes. Still now 3D, so the first thing we need to do is to bring it to 2D. Uh, so we choose a standard format of SolidWorks. Let's bring the design in. Let's make sure that the scale is exactly one to one as we've designed it. And there is our cup holder. And and also bring in the insert. Same one to one. And place it temporarily there. You can still move it around later on in position. First, we should remove these kind of center marks because also these lines will then later on be moved to the DXF and would be harming the final result. Okay, place the parts. Um, to avoid that also all this information of the sheet is also going into the DXF, I remove this information and we update the sheet format to a blank sheet. So now we have the lines which we can save as a file for SolidWorks. Okay, save. I will replace the previous one I made. And I can save so file, save as, and save it as a DXF. Yes, I want to replace that option. Okay, that was the saving. That's done. Next up, going to laser cut. The dongle is in my computer, so it should start up. And I've loaded the small size machine we have here. It's the M MQ3050. First, we're going to import the DXF. Going to the right folder. Okay. Laser equipment, laser jobs. It's one of our wooden. IDS cup holder version 3. Here we have it. Open and here is the file. As you can see the DXF is not fully closed. This is easy to be solved by going to Tools, Unite Lines and 0.2 should be more than sufficient but you can also take it smaller. Okay, so now the lines are united. Um, let's choose the way we want to process it. The outside, put those in a second layer, so those will be cut last. And the insides, I personally don't have any, any preferences which one we would like to cut first. Okay, then we should select our speed and our power, since I'm using a thin plywood of 3mm. This machine it has a speed of 7, a power of 35 watt, my maximum is 40 watt of the laser. I always want to stay below that. Corner power, 32, 33 watt. The overlap, yeah, 0 0.05 is more than enough uh, for the beginning and the end of the start of it. Okay, same for the blue settings. And we now could go to download and download it to the machine. However, my computer is currently not connected, so it will give this error that there is no communication via USB. So we could only export the file 
and then put that file on the memory stick to stick it into our machine. If we want to see how it would run, we have the option to simulate. And it's calculating the data. Well, it takes some time. What you in general see is that, there we go, it starts with the materials from the inside, work to one side, and then connect the outsides. Okay, very simple. I uh, will put this DXF file on our website so you can download it yourself. The pictures of the final result are also on our website so you can see what the product will look like. And I wish you a lot of fun and enjoy cutting your own cup holders. Bye-bye.